Welcome on in everybody. And this is a special tarot reading for the full moon in Gemini. And I'm going to open this up by clearing the space. If I can get this thing to light, wow. <laughs> okay, and so while we're clearing the space, let me remind you that I already put out the astrology and if you missed it, I will have it at the end of this reading so that you can click on through to that video. And in that video, I not only talk about how the energies are impacting all of us collectively, relationally, um, the world at large in terms of resources, but there's also some pretty nice views in there uh, for this new location that I'm at. So if you want to have something pretty to look at, <laughs> some nice scenery, then definitely check it out. So I'm not sure why I'm having trouble getting this to light. Kind of sad because I bought this candle locally while I was out in Austin and it's made from beeswax. And it's uh, handcrafted, but yeah, apparently something went wrong. So I might go out during the reading, um, but we just need to have enough fire to get this area cleared. And there might be some kind of message to this, okay? Are you having trouble right now getting fired up about some things has somebody put your fire out right um, this is a lot of emotional energy that we are in the midst of right now and oof. and also air energy when we're talking about Gemini so we're gonna get into emotions that have maybe been smoldered <laughs> that are just kind of simmering under the surface of things. We're gonna talk about that in this reading. We are going to, um, we're going to discuss things that maybe need to be processed a bit more with all this Gemini air energy. And I'm going to close out with a message from Spirit I will pull from the Oracle card deck called Postcards from Spirit, which I don't use a whole lot, okay? Um, but yeah, for some reason, I'm really having trouble getting this to light, and I don't know if there is some kind of symbolic meaning to that. Spirit, thank you for your messages. Thank you for your messages today been having trouble finding lighters lately too, lighters that work. I, again, synchronicities, oddities going on right now. And we are shifting into uh, more um, earth energy as the month progresses. So um, hopefully, you know, if you're, if you're needing a little bit of fire in your life, Hang on, we got a little bit more to go, right? But I think uh, the, as we get more and more into um, the new year, uh, we're gonna feel that electricity come in with all the Aquarius energy. Uh, but between now and then, fire might be a miss right now is, is really what I'm, I'm getting to share with you um, as to the meaning of that. Damn shame, you know, I wanted to get that candle working, but I don't know if it's gonna cooperate. I'm gonna give it one last ditch effort and if not, then we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, we're gonna roll with it. So there's some things I think that um, you're wanting, you're having to roll with right now and um, I am going to try to speak to that and get some answers. I know a lot of us are dealing with a very reflective energy, very, much reconsidering what has gone on over the last year. I talked about that in the astrology portion, but we're actually going to pull cards. We're going to get into uh, what this means more accurately, um, 
given your astrology as well so make sure that you are watching not just your sun sign but especially your rising sign will be relevant when i start talking about the um the astrology for example i'm a taurus rising so i'll watch the taurus and i'll watch for my aquarius sun and my pisces moon right um but of course the most accurate is looking at your chart and where gemini is in the new in this full moon is showing up in your natal chart okay and if you don't know how to do that of course you can come to me for a private reading links are down below and by the way i am running a special on etsy right now you can get a year ahead reading for less than a hundred dollars it is a steal of a deal limited time offer and there are payment plans if you're saying i can't even afford that right now hey you could do it for as little as 24 dollars to get the ball rolling and it's like a one hour reading where i get into your unique astrology and we pull cards just for you for every month of the new year so with that said let's get on to these readings aries welcome on in let's see what the cards have to say for you on this full moon and gemini we're going to find out <laughs> What they have to say about your beliefs right now versus your fact, the facts, <laughs> and where maybe you've been confused and get some clarity on that. Find out about your thoughts versus feelings that need to be processed right now, and we'll close out with some oracle card advice on how to deal with this situation. Now, while I'm shuffling, let me say that this full moon is hitting your third house having to do with communications, your local neighborhood, siblings, neighbors, people that you deal with on the day to day. So there could be um, issues of, you know, talking through situations, maybe tense situations. Uh, because Mars is right there in that third house as well. So be careful about argumentativeness. Be careful with, you know, butting heads with somebody who is, yeah, you know, a neighbor, a sibling, or somebody that you deal with on the day to day, okay? Somebody in your local area or maybe something frustrating just frustrating is going on in your neighborhood okay i mean it could be that benign all right but i do see a knight of pentacles here for some of you it has to do with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn others of you this might have to do with an exchange of money going on giving and receiving uh, maybe some of you under heavy burdens obligations trying to get some material advancement in your life and if it's not you it's maybe somebody around you where there's some tense communications regarding give and take regarding exchange because somebody's wanting to make some material advancement okay they're wanting a raise they're wanting a promotion uh, i don't think they're wanting a get rich quick overnight thing they might really need somebody to be more generous to them so this could be about hey you know uh I don't mind if we make slow and steady progress, but we need to progress here because I need you to be more charitable. I'm, I'm seeing that could be coming up, but let's see uh, what the cards have to say for you. And uh, one more shuffle and I'm going to cut the deck for Aries. If you're not having tense communications with someone, <coughs> excuse me, this could be really um anxious thoughts all right really up in your head and yeah i'm seeing now a knight of swords aquarius libra gemini possibly or simply somebody making very you know uh taking very decisive action okay somebody coming in really quick and communicating i'm doing this i'm doing that and i warned in the astrology be aware of this kind of energy of this sudden shift of uh, people coming out in left field saying stuff 
that you didn't see coming, doing stuff or saying that they're going to do stuff that you didn't see coming. Very impulsive, reactive type of, um, I'm hearing leaking. Okay, somebody leaking. Uh, you didn't know it was there, but it, they just pop off uh, and you just didn't see it coming. Okay, the beliefs that you are dealing with right now have to do with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Um, it could also have to do with getting forward movement in your life, progress in your life. It might actually have to do with a car. I mean, with those nights, I'm seeing a lot of movement, movement, movement. So definitely somebody wants to make progress with their life or literally get on down the road with it. Okay, might involve a car for some of you. The facts that you have to consider, well, you have the Princess of Swords in reverse. So... Again, more energy implying that there's heavy communications going on. I do want to caution you, however, that this is somebody who is not keeping their word. Uh, they may have, I don't know, I don't want to say lied, but uh, <laughs> fibbed, didn't tell the whole truth, fudged the facts, something to that effect, okay? Um, again, more air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Not a fan because this is telling me that um, it, it could be somebody exaggerating, gossiping, manipulating, somebody breaking promises. And again, in the context of this spread, I'm going to say that Some of you believed something that just wasn't the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God, okay? Um, you believed maybe that you were on the right path with something or someone. You believed that a decision or a, a mindset was moving you forward and progressing you. But the fact is that this was an exaggeration. I'm hearing too little too late. Okay, too little, too late is what I'm hearing. And so be aware of this because uh, your belief that this is like also major arcana of spirit. You, you really put a lot of faith in this. You believed that this was, I'm hearing a God move. Okay, you believed that this was your rightful path forward. You felt that this was a blessed course of action is what I'm hearing, okay? That this was divinely appointed, all right? Fated, perhaps. You put a lot of faith in this, let me just say, okay? But the facts are that you you were manipulated or somebody made promises they didn't keep or you made you base these beliefs off of what turns out to be exaggeration or manipulation or or just straight up gossip i i'm sorry that's terrible <laughs> Uh, but, you know, welcome to the matrix. We all get to deal with this loveliness here. Um, okay. So, where has the source of confusion been? Uh, maybe about responsibilities and the heaviness of a situation. I'm hearing the gravity of a situation. Um, again, perhaps you thought that something was worse, heavier, more burdensome than... It actually was the clarity on this situation is you with the strength card you you know you showing up pretty strong actually you have good reason to be confident in yourself so long as you're putting up good boundaries so long as you're exercising some self-discipline some healthy restraint I mean, I'm getting with both of these cards that it will take some willpower here, okay? But this is quite a contrast where you might have felt you were under something 
the clarity, the truth of them, the whole truth of the matter is that you've actually got the upper hand in this. If only you can see yourself clearly and get the confidence to take your power back, step in your power, uh, you can do that. Now, your thoughts on the matter? Very disappointed, I'm sorry. Very um, unimpressed and I don't know, I heard despondent, okay? But your feelings right now, I mean, that doesn't look too touchy-feely to me. Princess of Pentacles, okay? Um, Princess of Pentacles is very grounded, actually. So it's almost like you're not too much in your feels. I mean, I'm going to clarify that. Um, I'm going to say, you know, with this lunar energy in Gemini and air sign, we can intellectualize our feelings, right? So what feelings um, does Aries need to process more? Because this might have to do with just really, I don't know, solid ideas, solid thinking, like you're being really solid right now or you might not be feeling you might be you'd be thinking i'm hearing my mind is on my money and my money is on my mind <laughs> okay um but that kind of fell out like this i don't know if you saw that over there but it came out in reverse so um some of you are perhaps dealing with a creative block um or you know and, and again it's this kind of the situation of you can do this. You could create something new if you would just tap into it. Um, if you would really tune into it rather than trying to intellectualize or over process it, you can get into your imagination. You can get into this very expressive, inventive nature, but with it in the reverse, it's almost like it's there, but you're not accessing it. Okay. Some of you feeling very unfulfilled right now. Um, let me find out what this was that you were perhaps um, deceived on, okay? Uh, that somebody perhaps manipulated you or misled you in some way to thinking that something was the right path for you when it actually wasn't or thinking that it was going to progress you when it wasn't. And again, that was in reverse. So I feel like this is a past concern and it might have to do again with your money uh, something about your money and um, why, why, why are you so disappointed um, in your thinking? Why you don't you don't like something that's been offered to you? Why is that tower? Something fell out. Something just didn't work out, and this might have to do again. I'm with the coins. I'm getting a lot of money cards here. Um, it, it it might have to do with um, leaving one location for another, leaving one option for another. One option fell out, forcing you to go to another option because uh, one option here is not val uh, viable, okay? There might have been an integrity issue. Again, you're not getting the wholeness of truth. I'm sorry. Um, but what is it that you are being asked to release right now, Aries? What is Aries being asked to release? Oh, okay, okay. Surrender to your full power. Holy crap, do you see that? Look at the synchronicities here. This is very Leo-esque, right? Um, very fire sign. Um, and I told you, you've got to see yourself more clearly. You've got to tune in to optimism, confidence, okay? See your ability through good boundary setting, through self-discipline of how to get the upper hand in this situation. This card says your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. At the foundation, holy moly, surrender your fear of intimacy. Some of you, the reason why I'm picking up on all these coin cards is because you have not prioritized love. Love is very Venusian. And you know what else is Venusian? Money. Because Venus is about everything 
that nurtures and nourishes mind, body, spirit. So if you're not tapping into this, well, you're not tapping into this, okay? And you're not tapping into this, all right? You can pie in the sky, believe that all you want, but you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater, okay? Some of you uh, need to learn how to multitask effectively, how to, how to have relationships and resources simultaneously. It's not one or the other. Oh, I'm going to get my money straight, so then I can get my love life straight. Well, like, that's nice thinking but in 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 reality <laughs> don't be deceived right this card says you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart this might because you know this moon is happening in the third house it might have to do with um somebody you know, in in your local area that you're dating, okay? Somebody, you know, if, if you're single, all right? You opening up to, um, opening your heart up to somebody around you. Let's see what spirit is advising as your advice right now. Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there are times you might find yourself over giving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people, maybe you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that have convinced you that you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. We all love you so much. Okay. So this card is taking me back to um, that six of pentacles that I saw initially that just kind of popped out of wherever. You know, as I was shuffling, it just randomly fell out. Um, what do you want to create, right? There's a card of loving, right? What do you want to create? What do you want to nurture and nourish, Aries? Because there's something about give and take back and forth going on. And it might be in the communications. It might be with somebody um, very close to you in your local community. Who knows? But um, I hope that this has given you something to uh, run with in terms of the next two weeks and making things a whole lot better for you. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. All right, Leo, let's get on to you. And we are going to pull some cards to see what they have to say about your beliefs versus the facts. Where you might be getting some confusion and what the clarity is for that. And what thoughts and feelings you need to explore during this time. We'll close out with some advice for you, okay? And let me say that this full moon in Gemini is impacting your 11th house of all things Aquarian, right? Your opposite sign, Aquarius. So yeah, this is about social networking, friendships, um, colleagues, uh, working within teams. Could also be soulmates, wishes, ideals, okay? Looking at the bigger picture, the satellite view of reality. Friendships, also a big topic here but with Mars in that house as well 
could be that you're frustrated with these topics, especially if you feel that you're not on the same page with people, there's some kind of misalignment in terms of, you know, who you've allied yourself with um, socially, relationally, you know, in terms of friends, colleagues, groups that you travel in and out of, okay? And for some of you, it might be about wish fulfillment and those ideals, okay, getting frustrated because um, they haven't been easy this year for us to come by. What's come out randomly is the Hermit card and Four of Chalices and Queen of Pentacles. You might want to watch Aries, by the way, because uh, your, your card, the Strength card, came out. And I got another card that looked very Leo-ish. And, and this card came out as well. So I don't know if there's some overlap for you uh, in the Aries reading that you might want to pick up on. Um, but let me just say this is about withdrawal. Both of these cards are about, you know what? I'm going to just sit over here for right now. Um, because I need to find myself. I need to hear from God. I need to understand why. Um, I don't, don't like what is being offered to me at this time. I need to sit this one out. Um, I'm going to take a pass because I need to get some advice. I need to get some counsel, um, from others or just within myself and it might have to do with a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn I'm seeing showing up very strong and if this is not an earth sign it is just reflecting a lot a lot of reflection um, and disappointment in that uh, in those moments of reflection about practicalities um, about, I don't know why I'm hearing common sense. I, you know, that's just something unique. Okay. Um, some of you, I'm, I'm really getting strong Capricorn over here. Okay. Um, I'm hearing perseverance as well. Okay. And, and just being grounded and, and I'm seeing a groundedness with both of the, like sitting it out. Okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm getting Capricorn as well. So I don't know where I'm, I'm getting some kind of flow with these cards. Um, at the foundation, it looks like you are disconnected. You are walking away from something, maybe because you are at a stalemate with someone and you're like, you know what? I, I can't move on from this. So I'm going to unplug. I'm going to disconnect. And, and I'll be straight with you. This is kind of an Aquarian 11th house thing of knowing when to connect and knowing when to disconnect. Um, because I think if you are realizing what, what other people or groups are offering you is making you feel alone, disappointing you, or you feel like, you know, this is not helping me manifest in a grounded way. I've got to leave the building. This is a lot of checking out of the building. And this is a lot of, I'm going to sit this one out. Okay. Um, Deep stuff, Leo. Deep stuff, okay? Let's see what the cards have to say in this spread that I am pulling. One more shuffle, and then I'm going to cut for Leo. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. Um, is this about money or is this about, it, it could be an and or, right? Um, there's a lot of aloneness, right? I'm getting with the Five of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Eight of Chalices, the Four of Chalices. It's like a lot of aloneness. And with the Pentacles coming up, I'm getting, this is about money or it's about values. Your beliefs, uh, maybe you believe that you need to separate. Do you believe also that there's been disloyalty? There's disloyalty in your midst, which I know is the worst for Leo. You, you cannot not be loyal to Leo 
or there's going to be some kind of, um, it, it just doesn't go well, right? Leos do not take disloyalty well at all. Um, I'm also hearing betrayal, feeling a betrayal. I'm feeling a uh, divisiveness here as well. I'm really uh, being brought to the swords, okay? Uh, divisiveness, all right? Which has brought some grief to you. But the facts are, uh, we've got a Queen of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I don't think she's looking at this situation, okay? Um, you may believe that there has been a betrayal. Or there has been some division or divisiveness or disloyalty, all right? But the reality is, yes, somebody cut somebody out. That is true. But somebody did that based on knowledge, right? This Queen of Swords knows something. And she's also a very uh, moral person. Um, you know, maybe maybe at times a little too legalistic about this is right, this is wrong, and thou shalt this and thou shalt that. <laughs> you know, how do I know I'm a queen of swords, okay? <laughs> but honestly, I don't, I am not getting that, like, I, I'm gonna clarify that. Did the queen of swords betray you? I do feel like the queen of swords is not even looking at this. The queen of swords has put this behind her and is like looking on to greener pastures here. Um, the Queen of Swords looks like she's sitting down and calm and I'm hearing repose, like calm repose, like unbothered. Might seem very cold and calculating like that bitch, but oh wow, and now I'm being shown. Look at that angel up there might have really been a spirit-led decision and it was knowledge base I'm, I'm sorry to say okay if this was you or somebody else whoever this could have been you that you nah, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news like I I, I, I want to make concessions for maybe this is you you cut them out maybe you did okay but I'm definitely seeing here that there is a contrast between what you believe and what the facts are. And I think that there has been perhaps some emotion. It's something that was perhaps logical, moral, spiritual, a spirit led decision for one person was taken as a, an attack by another. Okay. Please tell me more. What is this? And I'm also getting if this is a situation where it's not a person but an energy, say like of you um, with your wishes. Yeah, she's moving on. This woman is moving on. Three of Cups, healing, healing, reconciliation. This is a very spirit-led this person is on their rightful path. There's there's an angel up there. I don't know, it's very subtle. I don't know if you can see it. There's an angel above her head, okay? And I think that's the moon. She's using her intuition, very spirit-led. And with the chariot, there could be a Cancer Sagittarius involved here. Three of Cups, some kind of gathering coming together moving on somebody might have traveled toward a gathering or a reconciliation of some kind okay but or they're just making forward movement to reconcile something that has been unhealed um I don't know. I mean, again, for you, it's like, I, I, I'm kind of going deep with this for you because I feel like I got into something really um, heavy here. What is this three of, of sorrow, three of swords, sorrow card for Leo about the beliefs? And I lost my train of thought. Let me say that if this is about your ideals, um, I, you know, something coming to culmination or completion, 
with your ideals or yes could be an Aquarian um, you might have felt really hurt by this that this didn't pan out the way you wanted or you felt that the way it went down was not there was some kind of betrayal yeah it looks like a decision have been made has been made and I do see a Queen of Pentacles now and I see another another Queen of Swords this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Verse 5 of Pentacles yet again, and Temperance, Cancer, Sagittarius. A lot of people involved here. I'm seeing it all over. And again, I'm seeing the, the angel and the wings. And look at that. It's a synchronicity. You see it there and there. And there's the wings. There's the wings. This is very spirit-led. It had to happen. Okay somebody was led to move on it was the right thing to do it was the logical moral spirit led thing to do in order to reconcile heal something in someone's life but unfortunately um i'm seeing on your end that This has gotten emotionally charged, okay? What was maybe meant to be looked at in more of a, through more of an objective lens um, was it became emotionally charged. It is somebody made a decision possibly involving two females, possibly involving an earth sign and an air sign. Again, possibly involving money and a lack of it and somebody getting put out and that needing to be healed, okay? Uh, I've been going deep on that. All right, let's 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 keep it moving here. Where's the confusion? With the Princess of Cups, more people, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I think there has been some regret here, uh, possibly um, some communications where somebody is, is expressing that they're sorry, okay? Um, but sorry about what? What's clear here is with the Princess of Pentacles, got a lot of people, a lot of people. Another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, these are pot potentially uh, people under 30, okay? or immature energies, um, water and earth. Um, and I'm also getting a lot of communications, what's been communicated. You know, it's like somebody has gotten, I think, confused about the emotional charge of the situation, okay? And clearly um, what is happening is actually something very grounded and practical and down to earth needed to be communicated um, rather than having these emotionally charged communications um, somebody may have needed to apologize uh, and they didn't or they did and they thought that was good enough what clearly needed to be done is they needed to actually back those words up with action. They need to do something about it. Okay. This is get beyond the feelings and actually do something to bring the action in alignment with the feelings and the thoughts. Okay. Um, and what were the thoughts? You've got a knight of swords, another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but somebody taking very decisive action. I, I don't know why I'm hearing somebody's like, I'm going to just go do that. Well, I'm just going to go do this over here. Okay. Um, but the feelings on the matter, well, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting that somebody is lost in their own sauce. Okay. They're lost in their own sauce. And why? I, I'm getting... Somebody's got a lot, a lot of feelings, all right? This card says illusion, illusionary success, okay? This is not, 
This is not very substantial. I'm just going to be frank with you, okay? I'm getting some storyline here, a very pie in the sky, out in the stratosphere, airy, fairy, touchy, feely, like, I'm sorry to say it, but where, where's the beef, right? Like, it's an 80s saying I haven't heard in forever, but that's what I'm, I'm hearing. Where's the beef? Where is the meat of this situation? Please show me the emotions that need to get processed for Leo. What emotions need to get processed for Leo? Well, somebody has been very timid and reserved and holding back. And that I'm getting is cast some kind of smoke and mirror effect in your life, the life of another. Um, it's been off-putting is what I'm getting. Somebody is doesn't maybe doesn't want to come across as desperate or they are desperate and that's in reverse disappointed where i don't know if they're letting people know that they feel defeated that they feel betrayed they feel let down that they have dealt with some disillusionment okay like that needs to get processed of somebody the way they thought it was going to be is actually not the way it is And there needs to be more of an opening up, like cut the fog out, break the fog, you know, like be more bold and direct and say, you know, I don't like this or uh, perhaps, you know, somebody else around you because it can go either way. All right. Um, what needs to be released right now for Leo? Those two jumped. I'm going to take them. Okay. Surrender to complete healing. Well, I saw healing, healing there. You need to put this in reverse. Okay. Because that's unhealed right now. Uh, in the upright. Your belief that there has been a bit of betrayal or disloyalty. Maybe so, but it's time to heal that open fully to the loving compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual healing surrender the habit of people pleasing that might be why there's some kind of smoke and mirrors going on in the expression of emotions okay and that could be off-putting to you or to other people or you you know you're afraid of saying how you really feel because you don't want to repel people. You don't want to come across as desperate or vice versa. This card says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone happy. I do feel like whoever was being timid and shy, they were doing that because they were trying not to rock the boat. But in the foundation, this is saying surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. I get the sense that somebody did not want to rock the boat. They were afraid of tipping it. And it ended up getting tipped anyway. Somebody got put off by it somebody made decision to get the heck out of Dodge. They didn't want to be a part of it. Um, it didn't reflect very well on the other person who was maybe trying to, I don't know, save face or um, stop something from falling out rather than, you know, like they're tiptoeing, they're beating around the bush. And in the end, it just, it results in this, this loss of pleasure, right? as the card says so let's see what the advice is let's see what the advice is for leo and i'm feeling this one here dear you there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day other times are perfect for taking that leap no matter how dangerous it might seem well hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time 
realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly and right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. I am hearing that somebody was playing it safe and I think it backfired, okay? I don't think, I, it's almost like, and I'm getting this, I'm getting this intuitive vibe, like the, the very thing that you feared happened. The very thing you were trying to avoid, it, it developed, okay? Because somebody was trying to play it safe. And I think it's because of uh, an attachment to an outcome. Somebody was very much wanting a particular, there's some kind of um, ambition, ideal wish that somebody had, they were holding on to and, oh, I can't let this go. I can't let this get away from me. So I got to keep everything under wraps and under control so I don't lose this. And if I lose this, then I'm not going to get what I wish for. And it just, it, I, I, wow, that's a rough message, Leo, a rough message. Um, maybe surrender to spirit's way. Okay. That's, that's really all I can say to you right now about that. Because I honestly, even from the beginning of that reading, I felt like I was getting into some deep, deep stuff. All right. All right. Let's move on and uh, let's go to Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, let's talk about how this energy is impacting you. And you are a mutable sign of all the fire signs. So... You're probably feeling this more than, you know, Leo or Aries. Um, but it is hitting your seventh house of long-term committed partnerships. And so something about give and take in relationships is really highlighted here with your one-on-one -on -one relationships, particularly the relationships that are long-term, right? It could be marriage, could be business partnerships. These could, these could also be relationships that you've had with you for life, right? Um, long, long-term relationships where um, if there's been lack or some kind of shortcoming in these type of relationships, um, you might be getting a bit of a push from the universe to talk it through, work it through with the tensions in these relationships, okay? So, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. And at the foundation, we have the hangman. So I'm, I'm getting that there's a perspective shift that needs to occur. Something might have been stuck or on hold for you. And that's been for a divine purpose for you to get some kind of perspective change or to see things through a bit of a different lens. Okay. This might have also, you know, when we're talking seventh house, we, this could be commitment issues, commitment phobic people. Uh, friends with benefits or somebody's wanting to move the relationship to the next level and it never quite does. Um, somebody's waiting on something here and it might be that a sacrifice needs to be made or somebody's got to see another person's pers perspective. But thus far, this looks pretty stuck like Chuck. Okay, we'll, we'll see where this goes. I mean, it might have a nice connotation of enlightenment. Let's hope so, but we'll see where this goes. Um, 
the beliefs that are being illuminated right now, well, you have, <laughs> you have the Hierophant, which is all about commitment, okay? Um, and yet is your beliefs on that, right? Your beliefs on tradition, your beliefs on what is conventional. Um, this could have to do with spirituality, religion specifically, perhaps a Taurus is relevant. But the facts here are that something has ended, okay? Something has ended. And, you know, what has ended? What has ended? It's a major cycle and it might involve a fixed sign, which, you know, could be this Taurus over here, or it could also be Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Um, this might have to do with money that comes in locally in your wherever you live but I am seeing some kind of limitation there's something maybe limiting about the way that you get money where you live or again the exchange of money in terms of people if it's not your local community it's people that I would say are your likes your support network okay for some of you, this might be business, but I'm not getting a good vibe. There, I think, have been a lot of lessons for you on, it might have to do with debt, okay? And getting support through people around you. That is a really odd message, but I'm going to keep going, all right? Where has the confusion been? Princess of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or some kind of regret here being communicated. For some of you, this could be a love message, okay? Somebody, a love interest might have communicated something, but I, I don't know if in some way it or something very sensitive was communicated to you, but it, it's almost like you didn't see it clearly for what it was. And the truth of it is there's strife here, okay? So I, I'm honestly getting like, your communications right now with someone or regarding something could be, you know, coming across really sweet and nice and, you know, sensitive and um, maybe even conveying that somebody's sorry, gee, I'm sorry, you know, some kind of regret or something like that. But uh, actually, clearly what's going on is there is a battle of wills here. There is a conflict. There is disagreement. Um, it, it's almost like, honestly, I'm getting a vibe that th this is what's going on the surface, but beneath the, beneath the surface, this is smoldering, okay? It's, it's almost like people are keeping up appearances, when in reality, um, there is a battle of will. There is a conflict, there is strife, there is um, maybe even competition. Like if this is a business uh, partnership that we're talking about, uh, there's competition going on. And, but for many of you, I think this might involve a marriage or a romantic commitment um, with the five, um, it might be a family dynamic, somebody married into the family. Um, but again, I, I'm not really liking this because I'm getting this contrast of, let me go further, but I'm just going to say thus far, it's almost like what you believe and what you're confused on 
or what's causing confusion is that everything's solid and nice here. It looks really nice, okay? But the facts are something has ended and the, the, the clear truth of the matter is there is a conflict. There's a disagreement here, okay? Um, thoughts? looks like somebody's deliberating going back and forth um, but again this card is saying harmonious change like oh we're just going through some changes let's let's just balance this out you know and it, it looks very yin right look at the yin yang oh this will work itself out you know um, feelings emotionally disconnected absolutely I, I saw it all over here when I saw the contrast of this versus this somebody is not really plugged into the emotions um, what are the feelings here that are being disconnected from that Sagittarius needs to process more what feelings Gratitude, um, appreciation, feeling blessed. Um, something about past grief and past irritation, okay? Somebody maybe irritated or grieved you in the past. And that, it, it, it may be that you are associating them with this negativity and that's why you're just like, I, I'm leaving. You know, I don't want to connect with your energy anymore. Um, but... Plain devil's advocate here, do you need to be more grateful for something that they did bring into your life or something that they did give? I don't know. Because what I'm seeing here is there's a lot of cups, right, that you're walking away from. Like, there was a lot given here, but you're walking away from it. Like, yeah, I don't really want those eight cups. I'm going to go get my nine cups down at the bar or something. I don't know. You know? And is there something about Thanksgiving, okay? Because I'm seeing him almost like at the table and I, we, just, we just had Thanksgiving, right? It's something relevant about Thanksgiving, okay? Um, let me dive a little bit deeper into what is this conflict about? What is this conflict about? Somebody has been going through some very bad times with money, okay? And it might be a health issue, but it might be more of a financial health issue and a lot, a lot of money. Or it might have gone on for a lot, a long time. A lot of money has been, um, you know, it, I'm getting water. I'm hearing water under the bridge, water under the bridge. Um, what are your beliefs about this? Beliefs about this for Sagittarius? Um, I think that you feel like something is not sustainable and if it's going to fall out, you're just going to let it because you feel like, you know, this is not anything that's going to last. So... Tell me more about this Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups. Oh my God, look at that. A whole bunch. Listen, I just cracked something open. This is a probably a masculine energy you're attached to um, and some healing going on, but somebody's resisting making a decision to heal a situation with shared resources where somebody's been put out somebody's been dealing with lack or loss they might actually be homeless or dealing with some serious financial problems could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn an independent woman a mother figure perhaps a single woman um, but is dealing with some, she looks really solid actually these cards are showing like this woman can make her own way and she is very practical and down to earth, but she is dealing with a lack of funds or a lack of support. Um, and there's something about a group dynamic and the give and take where something needs to get healed. People are not talking about it. They're not taking action in a group dynamic. 
um, and there's been an avoidance of taking action in a group dynamic. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of need to heal this with um, involving a masculine versus feminine energy. I could go on for days about that, people, but it, it, you know, honestly, it, it's a private reading at this point if we go any further because, <laughs> you know, I, I think I just cracked something open there. All right, I just opened Pandora's box. So if that spoke to you and you want me to go deeper, definitely um, reach out to me for a private reading. Let's close out with some Oracle card advice. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't want to cheat you out of this. Let's see what you need to let go of, okay? What do you need to let go of? What does Sagittarius need to let go of? Please show me for Sagittarius. Feeling this one. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering more joy. Well, hey, I think y'all got that down. I think the advice is you need to spread it, honey. I mean, we're coming into what we are in your season. The sun is shining down on you, all right? Vitality is yours with the sun in Sagittarius right now. And you know, y'all are ruled by Jupiter. And like I tell my Sagittarius daughter, I call her my lucky charm because y'all got that Jupiter energy on you, all right? So spread the joy, all right? And the only other thing I see here that you need to release is procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. I think this might be about having some conversations, right? We talked from the beginning about this happening in your seventh house with Mars there. So again, if you need to talk something through rather than just kind of smoothing it over, and keeping up appearances and keeping it short and sweet and not going too deep, well, mm, your call, but that's what the cards seem to be implying and the astrology as well. Do as spirit leads, of course. All right, and your postcard from spirit says, dear you, human beings spend a huge percentage of life asleep not just in bed, but the kind where you forget you are a spiritual immortal being taking on a temporary human form. It's not your fault. Everyone suffers from spiritual amnesia once in a while. As you develop an identity, an ego, you begin to see through the eyes of a small self and have less connection to your soul self. You may not recognize this is going on, but you sure can feel it. We're here to remind you to look through your soul's eyes and see that magic is everywhere. Infinite potential lies in spirit who is teeming with you to fulfill the contract you made to contribute to the evolution of the whole of the world. Wake up and remember that all the help you need is orchestrated in the invisible realms. Your mind in alignment with the divine intelligence is unstoppable. The world is yours to co-create. You are so loved and we are all behind you. All right. I think that these are telling you, you are supported. Okay. Um, honestly, I think there's some stuff going on in your mix that you're kind of like, wanting to disconnect from can't say that I entirely blame you um but I do feel like saying you know um don't throw the baby out with the bath water maybe have some heart to hearts that you need to have um and um share that joy share that good luck and fortune that you naturally bring to the table by just being the Sagittarian that you are, right? Spread it. And if you're not feeling it right now, I just don't know what to tell you. Damn it, it's sun in Sagittarius. How could you not? How could you not? All right, I'm wishing you the best, Sagittarius. And we're going to get on to the next batch of readings. And 
Remember, if you didn't see the astrology portion, make sure to check it out.